So when I purchased my Bronco, um, the owner handed me this, one single key. Didn't unlock the doors, uh, didn't work uh, anywhere except in the ignition. And it's actually so worn down that um, I can pull it out while I'm driving. Now, I, I don't know about you guys, um, I don't know how you feel, but there's a little bit of a sentimental value with this one uh, key that I have because, I mean, I think it's original. I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me if this is original. National something something H27 uh, and on the back there it says Coal National USA. So I don't know, it might be the uh, original key. Maybe someone can leave a comment uh, and let me know if this is legit original uh, 1975 Ford Bronco key. What I thought was, man, I need to get, um, I need to get some door locks that work so that I can actually lock the door um, and not feel like I'm gonna get robbed. Even though <laughs> I live in Nashville, there's still hoodlums around that like to rob things. So, what did I do? Well, I got a new door lock and new ignition set from uh, Tom's Bronco Parts. And it comes with not one, not two, but four sets of keys. <laughs> How fantastic is that? I don't know if that was an accident that they sent me four keys. They all work on the ignition and the locks. So uh, they all go to it, but now I have four keys instead of one. So that's pretty fantastic. Thanks for that. You know, the reason that I'm doing these videos, the reason that I do this is because every time that I'm working on something on my Bronco, the first thing I do is I go search for who else has done it and look around at, try to find pictures and videos about it. And I must say, the video uh, library, if you will, of uh, early Broncos um, and people working on the early Bronco is pretty scarce. That's the right word, scarce or sparse. Both of those were in my head. And so what I would say to you is make sure to click and subscribe because that way you can see all of my videos and uh, anytime I'm doing a new video, you'll get a little update about it and you'll know. And so then your knowledge of the early Bronco will be broadened with, by my uh, expertise, <laughs> if you will. So when you're installing this, what you're gonna wanna do is remove the armrest, the door cups, the window crank, and that door skin, if you have it. Uh, I don't have all of those things. And then look deep down into the abyss that is your door. Okay, so right now this is inside of the door, like that door right there. This is inside of there. So what you're gonna first wanna do is remove this clip that is holding the uh, door lock inside of the door. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is remove this piece. So you remove that clip and then there's a washer that goes on top of that and you pull that off. Now inside the door right here, there is the lever that is the locking lever that goes up and down as you lock and unlock. So what you wanna do is pull that lever out and then careful not to lose um, this little clip, but then you can just safely pull this out from uh, the outside of the door. Now, what I did was I actually left the original factory little arm inside of my door because the little arm that goes through here that pivots up, up and down, it's like this 
metal arm, but it goes through this plastic piece. And I felt like if I took this and tried to pull it out to put this new one in, that I'd break that plastic piece and end up having to buy a new one. So I just left this part in from the factory uh, door lock assembly. So once you have it all pulled out, uh, what you're gonna do is install it the same way that it went in. One of the things that I like about these that Tom's uh, has is it has this nice little washer, it's the small things, nice little washer that goes between uh, the face uh, of the lock and the door uh, on the outside of the door. But yeah, so basically you're gonna put this in the same way that it came out. Put it in there. Now, one of the things that I'll, I'll note is uh, put this clip on last. It'll be your temptation to put it on first to kind of get it holding and uh, get it held in place, but it makes it super hard to get that arm back on there and get the, the clip and the, the washer back on there. So wait to put this back on until you have everything put back together uh, and then make this the final step. Now when you're doing your ignition, it's a pretty simple uh, way as well to get it out. What you wanna do is stick your key into the ignition and turn your key to the ACC position. Then you put a little paper clip inside of the hole at the bottom of the uh, key tumbler and you just turn the entire tumbler and pull it out. Uh, then stick it back in the same way uh, and it's that easy. So there you go, a uh, little uh, door key lock ignition uh, lock uh, installation video there for you. Uh, again, make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and uh, check out some of these other videos. Thanks a lot, guys.